Six months ago, I moved to Eastern Europe, specifically Kyiv, Ukraine. In my opinion, actually, Ukraine is one of the most underrated countries in the continent. Prices having already gone up in key markets like Kyiv, uh, I uh, would not be waiting much longer if it's a place where you want to invest. Good day, fellow planeteers. I think by now everyone should have seen the news. Russia is officially invading Ukraine. Uh, Russian troops have landed in Ukraine and everyone's fleeing Kiev. Now, being in the uh, immigration overseas business, I have seen my fair share of people uh, convincing other people to move to Ukraine, to hire in Ukraine, to do this and that, to invest in Ukraine. Um, I personally have never done that. I've never given advice uh, trying to persuade other people to move to Ukraine because I always know that it's unstable. Anything that's uh, connected bordering Russia will be, uh, there will be a little bit of risk associated. I would rather persuade other people to move to Russia proper instead of anything that's bordering Russia. Uh, I mean, there's corruption, there's stuff that's intolerable, but uh, that's more or less expected. But in countries such as Ukraine, such as uh, Georgia, um, well, you just cannot predict what's going to happen. I mean, take Georgia, for example. Uh, Georgia it actually has a very open immigration policy. But I will never encourage anyone to move to Georgia or, you know, just to get uh, citizenship or residency there, uh, even though it's relatively easy to get. Why is that? Now, it's because uh, Georgia actually have two areas that's already uh, been taken by Russia. So it's very hard to predict whether Russia will invade uh, Georgia again in the future. And when it comes to Ukraine, the story is more or less the same. I mean, Russia has already taken Crimea. So why would you move to Ukraine knowing that Russia has taken a little bit of Ukraine and will possibly take more? I guess what I'm trying to say is that when we're making immigration decisions, whether it's permanent immigration that you're aiming for the passport or uh, it might be that you want to uh, get residency while doing business in a country, uh, we do have to take into consideration the geopolitical risks involved. I mean, look at those people who moved to Ukraine a couple years ago thinking that they could have a, a booming business. Where are they now? They're probably fleeing the country right now in a hurry. So my advice to you is to make informed decisions. And while we're on the topic, I actually have here a Russian passport and I have the Ukrainian passport as well. Um, tell me in the comments whether you want, uh, want me to uh, review these documents. I actually have this as well. <laughs> so uh, if you want to see these, um, tell me in the comments. And uh, that's it for today.